I paint my people. The people that I paint, I consider them to be my people. And, you know, I consider myself to be someone that belongs to different worlds. Um, so Dominican people, people of the African diaspora, um, immigrants, uh, yeah, I would consider those to be my people. I, a lot of my work focuses on, or has focused on my family, but I'm trying to, you know, really push it and make the work evolve. I think working with uh, Ray Lease for these past, this past, what, week and a half, almost two weeks, it will just change the way I, see my experiences, it'll change the way that I view our world in its entirety, um, not just from a North American perspective, but in its entirety, you know, like, we come from two different places, but we pretty much have the same stories. Um, so yeah, just taking a lot from that and just, really understanding one first and foremost I think the one of the most major things that I realized was we come from different places but we have the same views and the same ideas which is which was kind of like mind-blowing especially when it comes to art you know I, I don't really I'm not really able to have certain conversations with a lot of artists that like goes outside of just art and in general like the practice of art but I mean we were talking about like real life things and some of it didn't have anything to do with art it was just like real life shit so yeah I've learned so much from Jarrell I think that us being here in the same space really allowed like we we were able to to get along immediately and connect on so many different uh I mean for the lack of better word levels like we were able to talk about our experiences in terms of family, our experiences in terms of the making of art, our experience with the struggles that we have in our communities, um, our experience with business, our experience with school. So we were, we were talking a lot about all these different topics and it, it wasn't anymore like we were two artists who were working together, which we were. It was more like we were just two people who were creating art together. So I learned an immense amount about Baltimore from Jarrell, um, the place where he grew up, the, the beauty that's present here, the issues that are here as well. All the, well, a lot of his experiences and they're very eye-opening and a lot of them were experiences that I could relate to as well. Some things and I guess opinions that I had about residencies prior to coming to this one um, were pretty much, I, I thought it was basically like an artist going to a secluded area and taking time to just be creative and do what they wanted to do um, in a creative space. But this residency has been that in addition to many other things, meeting a network of people. Um, everybody that came through the door here at this residency particularly has been, um, in my opinion, I consider them like family now. Um, and I don't think I really could have gotten that experience from too many other residencies. Um, it's just a different vibe. It's not like, it's more than what I expected. I, I was just planning to come to work, but I've learned so much about my own city that I didn't even know based off the residency that I'm, I'm kind of like embarrassed to even admit, to be honest, but it's been a um, learning experience and it's been a pleasure. And it just goes to show like how, how much beauty that we have within the spaces that we occupy if we just really open our eyes up to it.